A uh, little fun out on the water, everybody loves it, except for when things get a little sideways and things get out of hand, just like some of the incidents we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us up to New Jersey, where this was the scene just a little over a week ago. As three firefighters responded to a 911 call on the Passaic River of some boaters who had gotten themselves into trouble, but the next thing they know, those three firefighters found themselves stuck on the Dundee Dam with one of the fighters able to get off the vessel before it goes over the falls, but two of the rescuers go over and wind up needing rescued themselves. A little over an hour after the incident occurs, New Jersey State Police helicopter shows up with a rescuer who's rappelled down using a rope lift to attempt to get the two firefighters out of the boat. The whole incident did start as witnesses claimed contractors were out on the Dundee Dam working on clearing trees when a person fell off the vessel that was doing the work, instigating the 911 call which led to the three firefighters showing up on the scene on a boat attempting to rescue the contractor. But as we see here, once again, the contractor wound up being okay, but the firefighters do need to be rescued from the partially submerged vessel. It does take several attempts as the New Jersey police helicopter has a little bit of trouble as they try and get close to the people but in the end everybody's able to successfully be pulled from the boat and no injuries are reported. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us aboard the Carnival Dream where an interesting scene occurred just a few weeks back when passengers were enjoying dinner when all of a sudden the captain came over the intercom and alerted passengers that they had to divert as the crew had spotted a capsized vessel and they needed to go investigate and make sure there was nobody on board the ship. As the cruise ship approached the vessel, it quickly became apparent there was nobody in the area. Only sign of life they saw were sharks that were actually circling the boat. But still a very eerie sight to be out in the middle of the ocean, middle of nowhere, and see a capsized vessel like this. What's really interesting about this one was just a few weeks prior to this, the Carnival Dream itself went through a very similar incident again, except this time in the Belize Channel, where they actually wound up rescuing 17 people off of a capsized vessel. During that incident, along with the assistance of a Good Samaritan vessel, the crew from the Carnival Dream and the Good Samaritan boat actually rescued all 17 people without any injuries. But it really is quite the coincidence that this same cruise ship, just within a few weeks of each other, is able to spot two capsized vessels. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to stick with cruise ships, but we'll switch lines and go over to Royal Caribbean, where this was the scene this past week, when one of the passengers on board a Royal Caribbean ship had to be rescued after they fell overboard from the 10th deck of the cruise ship near the Dominican Republic. The incident occurred on board Royal Caribbean's Mariner of the Seas. At the time of the incident, the vessel was approximately 27 nautical miles south of Punta Cana en route to Caraco, when all of a sudden it was reported that a 42-year-old female passenger fell overboard from the 10th deck. Rescuers quickly jumped into action to attempt to find the female. Not only that, most of the passengers that had access to decks were actually out on the decks pointing and yelling at the rescuers once they spotted the lady as to the location as to where she was in the water. Miraculously, the Royal Caribbean crew was able to successfully pull the lady from the water without any major injuries due to their quick actions and the assistance from the guests that were on board the cruise ship. The lady was taken for a medical evaluation on board the vessel, but no need for medical evacuation was needed, and her and her family remained on board the cruise ship until it arrived in Caraco. No further details were given about the incident or how she wound up in the water, though. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to bring us back stateside where this was the scene just a few weeks back when the Coast Guard had to rescue four boaters from a vessel that was taking on water approximately 20 miles south of Morgan City, Louisiana. Coast Guard New Orleans Watch Standard Station received a call over Channel 16 claiming the crew of the 75-foot vessel at the cart were starting to take on water and they were unable to keep up with the amount of water that was coming on board the vessel. The New Orleans station quickly reached out to the Coast Guard air station who then launched a Jayhawk helicopter to dispatch to the scene. They also had a 29-foot response boat that went and they also contacted the St. Marsh Parish Sheriff's Office who launched their own vessel to come out and assist with the rescue as well. The Coast Guard air crew was the first to arrive on the scene and determined the best course of action was to go ahead and hoist the four boaters off the vessel to try and get them back to safety. They were able to do so successfully with no injuries reported. Unfortunately, the vessel did not survive and wound up sinking. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like HRTCTH, Matt Cunn, Ashley Arky9, and Boyd11 did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.